I don't know how many of y'all were watching the Xfinity Bristol race on Friday night, but man, was Bailey Curry impressive. Not only did he pull off this amazing near miss with the car spinning directly in front of him, I mean just pure talent, but he brought home a JD Motorsports car in 11th place. An amazing drive from a dude that has really outdrove equipment this whole year. Thanks to that amazing drive, Bob Pockers reported today that Curry will be returning full-time to JD Motorsports in 2023. And not only that, but the team will have three full-time cars next year, along with Curry back in his number four. And they're actively looking for talented drivers and sponsors. And it wasn't clearly stated um, if the other two entries would contain full-time drivers, but I think it'll probably all come down to funding that drivers can pull together. Uh, as to whether or not they'll be full-time or just they'll be, you know, like they usually do have a bunch of part-timers. JD Motorsports has been around a long time, and while I don't have the stats to show for it, they have had some great drivers come through their cars over the last 25 years, and while I doubt a quick turnaround is possible, keeping talented drivers like Bailey Curry goes a long way. And honestly, I hate to say it, I think they may have lost something with Ryan Vargas, however... Uh, like Curry Vargas has really outdrove his equipment this year despite some bad luck. Um, I hope he can pull some funding to put himself maybe back in that ride next year, but right now it, it really doesn't look promising. Getting Curry back though, that's that's a big win for this team. And I spoke a little bit about him in my Kyle Weatherman video, but Curry is still so young and constantly finding speed out of these horribly underfunded teams. I mean, Bailey Curry got a seventh place finish at Phoenix Raceway with Mike Harmon Racing. And if you don't know, getting a top 10 with Mike Harmon Racing equipment is the equivalent of getting a win in any kind of good equipment. At only 25, Curry still has plenty of time to work his way up the ladder. And while he deserves a top ride in 2023, you take what you can get in this sport. People can see he's out driving his equipment and eventually that will result in someone giving him an opportunity. It's hard to imagine um, after 25 years that JD Motorsports is going to make some big turnaround and we've seen how underfunded teams like our motorsports are faring this year whenever they expanded and then got a pretty solid driver lineup but they really didn't have any results to show for it uh, so I don't know if JD Motorsports is going to live up to Bailey Curry's potential but I definitely am excited to see if they find a way to become a little more competitive in 2023 with him behind the wheel full-time, they know what they're doing with him. If they do decide to go with two more full-time entries and they find two decent other drivers, then maybe they can build on some of the positive momentum that this organization has. You never know. Every dog has its day. Um, as for some drivers that I think could step into one of the other or into the other two cars, whether they're part-time or full-time. I would look at funded drivers, and right off the top of my head, someone like Lawless Allen, um, who has funding from autoparket.com, definitely seems like he might be in line. Um, I don't think he is ready for Xfinity personally, but when has that ever mattered? Brennan Poole, who is stepping in for Ryan Vargas, who was just released, um, I, I think he has a little bit of money behind him. He's definitely another guy that you would probably look at and say he's got a good shot at uh, doing something with that ride next year. Bobby McCarty also just made his first Xfinity start with the team this last week at Bristol, and he did not perform great, but he's also stepping straight up from, uh, you know, late models into Xfinity equipment. So I know he's talented. We'll see if maybe he gets another shot next year with this team. I don't know how much funding he actually brings, though. I think that there are two really interesting names for if they decide to go full-time with three cars and who would fill these other two seats. The first name I want to bring up is Grant Enfinger. And Enfinger has done a very good job in trucks, but I continue to hear rumors that GMS Racing might be downsizing or possibly folding their truck team. And if that happens, Enfinger will need a new ride. He was already struggling to find uh, work prior to GMS re-signing re him. So I'm thinking if he gets out of that seat, then a place like JD Motorsports would be very welcome to have him. Um, and I think Champion might even be able to jump on. And, you know, I think he could do well in Xfinity, and he might have to struggle a little bit with JD Motorsports. But, I mean, you know, it's better than sitting at home. The other name is Ty Dillon, which we all know Ty Dillon has struggled this year. Ty Dillon um, 
honestly just needs to try and find a cozy spot in Xfinity or in trucks to drive and just enjoy, enjoy what's left of his career. He's clearly not a cup level talent, but I think he still is a talented driver. I just don't think he will ever find success at the cup level. Uh, but he could make a solid career in Xfinity, especially for a small team like this, that he could use his resources and his funding to really help a team like JD Motorsports that deserves a break like that. And I think that Ty Dillon could make a really, really nice career in Xfinity doing something like this, especially since he seems very, very adamant that he wants to try and do things on his own without RCR. And I think, you know, just building up, like building... The rest of your career while building up this small team i think that would be a really cool story but what do you guys think is jd motorsports on the up or do you kind of hate this move for bailey curry because you know they're not going to go anywhere uh tell me what you think in the comments please like and subscribe and check out my tiktok i post over there regularly but overall guys thank y'all for watching and i hope you have a great day